My name is Heather Lawson and I work in the Immunisation and Diagnosis Unit. Once the samples have been sorted in the accessions area, they come here. We do further checks to check that the, the names match the samples. We then have to extract the patient's oral fluid, saliva, their sample from the swab. We add a transport media that we've made up into the lab. And we add this to the tubes. The swabs are then agitated and mixed up and then we invert the swabs and then they're put in the centrifuge. Um, the next stage is to actually test the samples for either the presence of antibodies or the presence of virus. For an antibody test, you're talking about from receipt of sample to result half a day. If you're looking for virus, that's a longer test and you're talking about a day. The PCR, we're actually looking for virus. So again, it's a longer procedure. We have further sample processing before we can actually test the sample. And then we have to prepare that for the test. And then we actually do the PCR test itself. All of those whole procedures, you would talk about a day, basically, to get the results. Once we have the results, whether it's antibody or PCR, we have various technical staff in the lab that check the test is run and it's a valid, a valid result. So we have double checks to make sure everything's correct. And then you have staff like myself who actually then look at those results. We look at the patient's details, the date of birth, vaccination history, timings of the samples and then we will interpret the result that we've got in relation to that information and then we would issue that result as either being yes this is a confirmed case of measles or we're unable to confirm or there's no evidence um, but we will interpret those results in conjunction with all the information that we have.